guys! I've been absent from school for the last week or so because I've been at home sick with the flu. I have been out for so many days and so of course I have a ton of things to catch up on and I have to make up all of the work and homework and tests and quizzes that I've missed from my classes over the last five days. And so a lot of you asked about how exactly they are supposed to catch up if they missed a lot of school. So I thought I would show you how I do it and how I kind of get my life back on track to being super productive. And the first thing I do, which I didn't show you guys in this video, is take out my laptop and email all of my teachers explaining why I've been out for so long and asking if there's anything that I can make up while I'm at home or any work I need to be prepared to have done by the time I come back to school the next day. And uh, most of them have all emailed me back at this point and I have everything that I need to do or things that I've gotten from my friends that are in the classes as well and I've written out all of those things in my bullet journal and that list can be super overwhelming to look at just because it is a lot and I tend to write down a ton of things that I have to get done whether they're big or small and so that list just looks even longer depending on how detailed I am and if you're catching up on a lot of things I think it's really important important to write down everything you need to do like it, instead of just writing like AP Gov homework you might want to write out like the reading you need to do for chapter four as well as the vocabulary and the worksheet or something like that and if you have everything that you have to get done written out it's more um easy to see exactly how much time you need for each thing on your to-do list especially if it's all written out in front of you and so basically I look over my planner and then I got out this knock knock sticky pad that is sort of a more um, more efficiently broken down page of things into like correspondence, tasks, and errands, as well as a space for notes. So instead of me trying to tackle everything that I missed in like nine of my classes for one day, I feel like that's kind of unrealistic. So I just broke down a few things that I think I should work on today. And even if I don't finish everything, it will be okay. And I don't need to worry about it as much. So I just write down like an outline of the things I need to do on that notepad and then I have another notepad of like just a things to do notepad that has like a checklist and I've sort of made a schedule for myself for the day um, and so I just write down like each like hour or so or just at least the important times during the day and what I plan to be doing during that time and I think that really planning and scheduling out things that you need to get done, especially if you have a ton to get done like me, because I only have like Saturday and Sunday to get everything done that I need for my classes to be ready on Monday. And since that's a lot, it's really important to stay calm. And for me, a way of staying calm and collected when I have a lot to do is to simply just take the time to write out every single thing I need to get done and when I need to get done. And so when I'm done with all of that planning, I definitely make sure that it's a priority to stick to that plan because it's pointless to spend all that time, you know, like the 10 minutes or so of planning and then not even follow through with that plan. So I immediately sit down and I start working and I have a lot to do. I didn't want to spend like all my phone battery on filming myself doing all of my catch up work. So I've only done a little bit for you guys on camera here, but I went through and I've just started tackling all my readings and, you know, start taking notes for chapters that I need to have done by Monday. And so I really just work like on the hour by hour and I still make, make sure that I make time to spend time with my friends and see them because I haven't seen them like all week because I've been out of school and been at home just like recovering and getting better but for anyone that's catching up I really hope that it's helpful for you to see how I've broken down all of the things that I need to get done and I will hopefully try to update 
on my Snapchat story, so feel free to add me on there on like the progress I've been making and how I've been able to get a whole bunch done in a little bit of time and all the while trying to stay calm because stress can only make you more sick if you're like currently recovering. So I hope this helps some of you guys and let me know in the comments down below if there are any sort of videos you want to see from me in the future. Bye guys! Be sure to check out my previous video if you enjoyed this one. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Snapchat, Instagram, and Tumblr accounts. Bye guys!